Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So far we have learned about a lot of technologies. Now it is time to learn about installation of Linux in virtual machine. So basically what is virtual machine? To install Ubuntu on this computer, on my computer, I cannot risk my Windows operating system directly. I cannot risk all my data. Okay, so that's why I can use, there is an option for me that I can use VMware or virtual machine basically. And on that virtual machine, I can run any operating system of my choice. So the people who want to work with multiple operating systems use this way. So basically we are going to install virtual machine and Ubuntu 21.04, which is the current version of Ubuntu while recording this video. So let us install and let us open Google Chrome first and here search for VMware. And here you can see their website so simply go for workstation player here you can see this type of interface just scroll down below and here you can see try workstation 16 player for windows simply click on download now and the download will start so i will come back when this download will complete so here our download is now completed so let us now install Ubuntu OS, okay? So open new tab and simply search for Ubuntu. And you can go on this website, ubuntu.com. And here you can see that here is option of download. Simply click on it and go here for Ubuntu desktop and simply click on 20.04 LTS. I said that we were going to install 21.04 but actually that is not the long term support version and what does long term support means basically is your operating system is supported for at least two years so that's why i'm going with 20.04 currently i'm not uh, using 21.04 but you can do the same you can follow the same steps with 21.04 as well so i will wait again for this to install and i will come back when installation is complete so we have successfully downloaded our Ubuntu 20.04 ISO file and now it is time to install VMware software or VMware player on this machine. So our installation is now complete and I am here in my downloads folder and we are going to install this VMware player. Okay, so let us open it. So now we have this uh, installation wizard here. So simply click on next, click accept, click next. Enhance keyboard driver feature, this feature requires 10 MB on host drive, okay. Click check this box and simply click on next. Click next and next and simply install it. So this will install VMware workstation 16 on your computer which will help us to run multiple operating systems on your host operating systems. So just imagine that your windows is host operating system and you can install different operating systems like Ubuntu, like different uh, distros of Linux and windows as well. So you can install any operating system that you want and you can use it. So it says you must restart. So uh, I will click on no and I will come back after restarting my computer so here I am and I have restarted my computer and as you can see we have this VMware workstation icon here so simply open it from here and it will ask you this uh, option that uh, do you want to play it for free or do you want to use it for free or do you want to uh, take its license key so I just want to use it uh, for this video so I will just click on next next okay now we are here on this screen so if you followed my steps then you will land up here now you ju you just have to follow my steps so simply create uh, simply click on this create new virtual machine and you will get this type of pop-up here and now simply select 
or you can what you can do is you can simply say check this box i will install operating system letter and select next then which type of operating system do we want to use our host operating system is windows yeah no problem at all but we are going to use guest operating systems we are going to install guest operating systems on this virtual machine that's what a virtual machine does so that's why now we are going with linux so simply check this linux and here default is ubuntu but we want this ubuntu 64 bit okay so select these two options and simply click on next then give a name to your virtual machine so i can give a name like okay so i have this name here for this virtual machine now here is the location uh, just keep it default and click on next now for safer side here you have to provide a uh, size for your uh, virtual drive but uh, the, this is not going to take actual space in your computer it's just a virtual space so you can provide uh, for safer side i'm going with 100 okay you can provide uh, as much as you want so for safer side i am going with 100 uh, the recommended is 20 gps okay so select this split virtual disk into multiple files option and simply click on next now here you will um, have this option to customize your hardware so simply click on it now select the ram which you can provide okay so i am giving it this much let's say 4 gbs now click on processors number of cores and you can change them as much as you want so i am going with let's say 4 now here simply click on this new cd slash dvd and here click on use iso image because we want to use our iso file which we just downloaded and click on browse and simply go to this downloads where you have this ubuntu file and simply select uh, select it and simply click on open now you have this file here let me change it to four, 2 and ok so now we have this options all good now simply click on this close and click on finish so it will create our virtual operating system for us now we have this virtual operating system on our vmware now simply click on play virtual machine this will run our operating system and here it is saying that do you want to install some tools so click on download and install and it will download it will update this vmware for me so i will simply wait for it and i will come back when this is complete so that uh, update was complete and let me click on here okay so we are in full screen window and this is our ubuntu 20.04 okay so we will simply wait for it okay it will definitely take a take uh, it will definitely take some time because we are not running it on our directly on our computer we are running it in virtual machine so it will definitely take some time so what you can do is you have these two options here either you can try ubuntu here or you can install so simply click on install now select your keyboard layout i am sticking with us click next or continue then here you will find these options simply click on install third party softwares and normal install installation and simply click continue let me just expand this window so now we have this erase disk and install ubuntu option and don't worry this will not erase windows 10 from your or any operating system that you have it will simply create an empty disk with ubuntu on your virtual disk okay not in your computer so simply select this option and click install now and you will be asked this type of pop-up simply click on continue and wait for it to install so it will take some time so i am back with this map where i am asked that uh, i have to 
give my location here so simply click anywhere on this india okay i'm from india so i'm selecting this select which country you want okay click on continue okay so enter your name okay then give it a name uh, a computer's name okay so here i will say okay then username then password choose a password i have selected this weak password so uh, it doesn't matter because we are going to practice this linux so uh, i'm not going to use it uh, for, for my personal any any of my uh, use so simply give it this password and i will click on this login at automatically and simply click on continue now this is installing ubuntu 20.04 in our computer and it will take some time so i will be back when it is complete so our installation is now complete and you can see this type of pop up here installation complete you need to restart your computer in order to new use new installation so don't worry it is not going to restart your windows it is simply going to restart this virtual player so simply click on restart now and you can definitely go for full screen window here just by clicking here so now you have full screen now this says please remove the installation media and then press enter so we don't have installation media simply press press enter to continue okay so now you can see this type of interface or this type of startup here and our ubuntu is now booting up so as you can see now simply click here and click here on full screen to go in full screen mode now you are in full screen mode and this ubuntu works as fine as your host operating system uh, that you can use everything on this ubuntu or you can use everything on this operating system as well just like your host operating system windows so it will definitely take some time it is slower than our host operating system as it is a virtual machine so i will wait for this to load or boot up so now it is okay so now we are here on this page so this is the startup page so just simply click on skip next next and simply click on next and done okay so here we are in our ubuntu so simply click here and again maximize it okay so now we are in full screen so enter full screen mode okay so we have this ubuntu 20.04 installed in our virtual machine so you can definitely try this you can install this uh, ubuntu 20.04 in your virtual machine vmware and what we are going to do is we are going to learn about linux commands in our next video so download this and install this in your computer and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching